Alright, folks. This is it. Welcome to Abaddon 2 The Corruption. <laughs> oh, I am so excited for this. I've been waiting for so long. This is it, folks. Now is our time to show those ungrateful members of the pack that they need Abaddon. They need us. So without further ado, let's look at the medals. Oh, the medals are exciting. I've been going through the medals, and that means you get to kill gods, and kill a god on torment difficulty. That sounds like the ultimate achievement. One day I will get there. Oh, look at this. You get to eat a cake. Oh, there's a kiss in there. Oh, you get to own houses. Woo. I think he's really made this game quite amazing. Um, hopefully you don't think this is too much of a spoiler. I just, I'm really excited. I'm even more excited now that I know that I get to own houses and kiss people. Okay, folks. Let's get right into it. <gasps> okay, there's a new class. Who's the new class? The Tinker Mage. Ooh, I should read the writing. Mm, sorry, I'm getting too excited here. I love, love Spiderweb software games. I don't know if you know this, but this game came out today on October 30th. And I have it. Mm. Welcome to Abaddon. First, select one of the five character types to the left. Use the text box to change your name. When you're ready, press the OK button. Okay, what's a Tinker Mage? A Tinker Mage is a mechanical master, able to use his skills to make powerful weapons and to construct turrets to destroy foes. A Tinker Mage can shoot lethal razor discs from his wrist flinger and disarm traps and pick locks with great ease. The Tinker Mage can make a deadly turret and then use his projectiles to pull foes into range and freeze them in place. Applied engineering at its finest. Well, that's, that's incredible, folks. Wow. The Tinker Mage is an all-new class wherein I'm, I, it sounds like an engineer from most games. Okay, let's see the sorcerer. The sorcerer has dedicated his life to the mastery of the arcane arts. Fragile in battle, he makes up for it with the ability to summon forth clouds of fire, lightning, or ice, obliterating his foes. But that is not all. A sorcerer can cloud the minds of foes, even potentially causing them to fight for him. He can bless allies and curse enemies. He can even use spells to pick locks and disarm traps. Okay, what about the shaman? The shaman has dedicated his life to nature, and nature in return has rewarded him with great power. He can use his connection to the wilds to heal and bless his allies, and when angered, he can call winds, lightning, and fire to devastate those who challenge him. A shaman is rarely alone, can, as he can call wolves or eventually drakes to serve and protect him. Also, he has the unique ability to heal wounded allies. Ooh. Wait, is it, is it unique? Is it, is it totally unique? I guess, I guess it is. Yeah. So the shaman's the healer. Shadow Walker. The Shadow Walkers are warriors of the shadows. They count on cunning and evasion, slipping through the guards of their enemies and delivering lethal blows. They can attack with blades, thrown razor discs, and pots of noxious and deadly alchemical substances, and then vanish into thin air. Shadow Walkers have many tricks to evade, stun, poison, and heavily damage foes. Also, Shadow Walkers can pick locks and disarm traps. Ooh, look at this. I love this. There's male and female. Oh my gosh. I think this is... Oh, that's so beautiful. This is one of the first games that he's made where you can... You can have male and female. That's beautiful. All along Gene Forge, you know, you could never change it. So, this is very... Whoa, look at that. Female Blade Master. A blade master is a true warrior. She is most comfortable in a massive suit of plate armor, wielding a sword and shield or a huge halberd, striding boldly into a crowd of foes and sending them flying with mighty blows. Blade masters are not subtle. Blade masters are natural leaders. Their war cries can strengthen their allies and weaken their foes. They can also challenge enemies, keeping them away from fragile members of your group. Well, there you go, folks. I mean, that sounds great. It sounds like all of them have ways of helping the party. Um, I'm really tempted to play the Tinker Mage. I'm really, really tempted to play the Tinker Mage. Um, otherwise, I might be tempted to play Shadow Walker. Yeah. Gosh, I don't know. Okay. All the names changed to Tristram. Good name, good name. That's the town from Diablo, I think. Okay, let's do this. Let's just dig right into it. Oh, do I really want to play a Tinker Mage? Why not? It's so new, so exciting. Everyone wants to know how the Tinker Mage works. Let's do it. He's going to be named Aramazon. 
A Ramazon the Tinker Mage. Um, what difficulty? Ooh. Uh, casual, normal, hard, torment. Okay, so I'm not a torment player. I could do hard. Normal might be a little bit easy. Okay. Um, let's do... Let's try hard. Let's, let's, let's be crazy here. Let's try hard. You are a warrior of the Midlands Pact. The Pact is an alliance of five nations, banded together for safety. The Farlands, enemies of the Pact, surrounded on all sides. These are nations of barbarians, raiders, titans, faded, jealous empires, all waiting for a sign of weakness. Ooh. Look at that. That is beautiful art. The Pact has one purpose. Survival. By crushing the Farlands and keeping them weak and divided. You have spent your life training and preparing to defend the Pact, and you have shown great skill. However, it is a dangerous time. The Pact's members have turned their backs on a peace that has held for centuries. Old grudges have led to civil war and outright rebellion. Once, this, short, this sort of strife would be unthinkable, as they had a protector determined to root out those who would weaken it. Avedon, the Black Fortress. The warriors of Avedon watch over the five nations of the Pact. When anyone acts to harm the peace and tranquility of the Pact, Avedon has the authority to destroy them. Its power is without limit. Oh, I love Avedon. Yes! <laughs> Red beard. Oh, look at this. In the carriage. Yes, Avedon was attacked. Avedon has watched over the pact for three centuries, warriors that with warriors that wield the finest weapons. Its wizards are allowed to learn the most powerful spells, and the keeper of the Black Fortress, Redbeard, directs them all. But a recent assault shattered the Black Fortress and killed most of its warriors. Now few fight to keep the pact unified against the many foes that would destroy it. You are one of those few fighting to help the Pact survive. You are stationed in Rockridge Keep, a Pact fortress in the middle of the contested lands. This rich, hilly territory is between two Pact nations, the proud barbarians of the Wild Realm to the west and the strict warriors of the Kva to the east. But some of the tribes of the Wild Realm have rebelled against the Pact, demanding their independence and attacking the Kva. Your task is to hunt rebels, but they are many and well hidden. Oh, that's totally me. I'm that guy in the middle. I'm the Tinker Mage person. Woohoo! And look at these. There's a shaman and some hunters on the left. We'll get them. Don't worry, guys. As for you, you have been sent out from the keep with a scout who is so showing you the paths to the contested lands and helping you to watch for wild realm, wild realm, wild realm rebels. The lands of your birth are on the verge of bloody and disastrous civil war. It is fall, uh, falling to a few brave warriors to keep the destruction at bay. Oh my gosh, look at this. Look at this. The rebel lands past the in the wild realm and the corruption. Oh, wow. Here we go. Welcome to Avedon 2. These messages will pop up to help you learn to play the game. Click somewhere to move your character. Ooh. All right, let's take a look at my character. Okay, Tinker Mage. A handsome fellow. Um, let's go to, okay, health and vitality, strength, dexterity. Okay, I think if I remember these alternatively, um, when you level up, they'll alternate going up. My specializations, there's battle, specialization, power, and utility, okay? Each level of battle specialization increases the three skills in the left column, uh, directly damaging foes, the power specialization, uh, make my other attacks more effective and protect me from enemy attacks, and utility is the, well, utility ones. Okay, let's see what we have. So, as a Tinker Mage, we have Blade Training, which will give us Blade Lash, a powerful attack that knocks your opponent off balance, slowing it and ensnaring it. And there's a chance that my Blade will squirt acid. That's very exciting, okay. Um, now this one, if I remember correctly, upping this one all the way was pretty pretty nice, because it increases uh, your, your main attack, essentially. Uh, tool use, of course, of course. Um... What's this? Makes attacks against mines and turrets far more effective. Now that is new, I think. Bladecraft. Each level makes your melee attacks uh, more likely to hit and do more damage. Um, makes your missile attacks more likely to hit. Wrist Flinger. Ooh, my Wrist Flinger. Wow, that's exciting. I mean, I have a Wrist Flinger, apparently. 
Uh, charge turrets. Heals and blesses all of your existing turrets. Build Bolt Flinger. Turret in a nearby location. It will shoot enemies. The higher this skill, the higher the level of the flinger. Turrets can also occasionally spray razors. Oh, wow. And then we can make a razor flinger. This is the snare turret, which will... Uh, I'm assuming snare enemies. Occasionally also do more damage and weaken foes. The temporal pylon that damages and slows your foes. That sounds awesome. The blessing pylon, okay, blesses, also heals, healing pylons. And the last one is the freezing turret, which turns into an inferno turret. Whew. Now that's something else. Uh, we've got armor craft. Gives, ooh, armor craft sounds amazing. Look at this, just totally buffing up my defense. 5% chance to evade enemy blows. Wow, with armor craft, I could probably be pretty hard to hit. Uh, turret craft, each point of this skill increases the level of your turrets by one. Summon turret appears with war chant. Ooh, appear with haste. That level 7 turret craft is lovely. Okay, wrist flinger training. Razor disc attacks more likely to hit and do more damage. 5% uh, chance of also ensnaring the target at level 3. At level 6, we gain charge shot. Fires a disc charged with magical energy, does extra damage, and sprays a powerful caustic agent on all foes near the target. Wow. Uh, yank shot. Oh my gosh, it's like Scorpion. That's so cool. Uh, from, from Mortal Kombat, if you're wondering. Fires a vicious hook that damages the target and pulls it closer to you. Has a 75% chance of briefly stunning the target. At level 6, gain net shot. Fires a fine hooked net from your wrist flinger. Damages and tempor temporarily tem immobilizes your target. Wow. Wow, that is really cool. I like the Yang shot. I'm really excited by the Yang shot. And the shrapnel grenade. Flings a lethal grenade that damages everyone near the target with vicious razors. Has 10% level chance to, of doing critical damage to the main target. Ooh, caustic grenade. Okay. I'm not sure. Oh, let's see what these ones do. Uh, makes your missile attacks hit more often and do more damage. Helps you to act sooner in combat. Uh, this skill makes special Tinker Mage attacks, like grenades, more effective. There you go. That's not bad, hey? Maybe I should be focusing on dexterity. Uh, strength will make my melee attacks, but it also helps. I don't know. So now that's, that's a thing to think about, but we start out pretty good, pretty tough. I think the Tinker Mage will be a good class. You walk out of your wrecked garbage strome barracks into another slightly larger wrecked garbage strome barracks. Rebel raiders of the Wild Realm have been rampaging over these lands for months, and most of the hunters and woodsmen have fled. The dry southern lands of Linnaeus can be cold in the mornings. Fortunately, Silky, place your cloak by the door. Once you put it on, you can walk outside and find the scout. Oh, there we go. Uh, there's the cloak. Bam! Now that your cloak is settled comfortably around your shoulders, you are ready to find Silky and continue to learn your way around the woods of the conf contested territory. Your new life of adventure is on the other side of the doors, in the west wall. Alright, to open a door, click on it. We have to go through this obligatory tutorial. You enter the low hall where the woodsmen who lived and worked here took their meals. Even though the fireplace hasn't been used for months, the thick smell of smoke has settled into every available surface. Everything of value has long ago been looted by wild realm rebels. You are eager to find Silky and resume your patrol. As you walk out, you hear the familiar scraping of little clawed feet from the hall to the south. You hope that they haven't smelled you yet, as the humans fled, a variety of aggravating pests took their place. You're about to be attacked by a few pests. When you when they approach you, the game will enter combat mode and you will learn how to fight. Wow. That sounds fun. Look at this. Combat right away. You are now in combat. In battle, all of the characters take turns acting. During your turns, you can move, attack, cast spells, use items, and so on. Press the spacebar to end your turn early. To attack or act, click on it. Defeat these enemies. Later, you will learn about spells and other abilities. Alright, I, I don't have anything. Just... Oh. And I'm going to get killed by a bunch of rats. What? Are you serious? Well, I guess I'd forgotten I'm playing on hard difficulty, but really? It's not very nice. Maybe I should have... There we go. Finish what is happening first. Good. Bam. 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 There we go. When no more enemies are visible, you can end combat by t uh, pressing this big red button or pressing F. There we go. Nothing? Ooh, animal skin. I'll take it. Alright, let's go through this door. Ooh, there's a chest with more animal skin. No, not animal skin. What? Money. Sorry. I'm crazy. Give me a moment to get used to the, uh, 